Well, it's the second day of 2017. You know, I know a lot of people are glad 2016 is gone and, you know, all its tubulation, if you will, is gone with it. But, like I said, from a religious standpoint, that tribulation shouldn't come as much of a surprise because it's probably just, as many might say, is the first real slap in the face. It's the real wake, first big wake-up call spiritually and religiously to the end times, to the rapture, to the tribulation. There's seven years of tribulation, stuff like that. And, you know, it, I, and I know a lot of people religiously and spiritually would agree with that because it, it, it's a fact. It's, it's a common fact that this is that you know I'm a like I said before I'm a born again Christian and and uh, thing is this is looked at basically you know as a wake up call for us you know it's like a wake up call like hey you don't want this to happen again you need to change your ways you know you may you know you know you may not like your fellow man but you can't say like oh you know you can't go on something like the internet or you can't go on you know, Facebook or, you know, you can't go on any kind of social media and try to bully them. You just got to say, you know what, that's how they are. I'm going to leave them be. And, you know, I know that may not make sense to some people that are kind of doubtful, but it's the truth. You know, and again, that's another thing a lot of us fear, too. It's like, you know, okay, what if what you're saying is true? What if this was, what if 2016 was that first big wake-up call? What are we supposed to do? Act all nice? act all kind to each other like if someone does something bad to us instead of going like oh I'm gonna call the cops on you or I'm gonna do this to you, you go like it's okay I forgive you like seriously you know we gotta do that I know that's what some people are thinking and you know what there's gonna come a time when things change and they're gonna change no matter what we think or how we react it's gonna change whether it's whether in our own personal way either to our own personal status, it's going to be, you know, a reversal of time, or it's going to be, you know, a reversal of time. Because, like I said in the, like I said in my video that I uploaded, um, basically, which was the first video of 2017 on my channel, I said that one time in Bible study, I, we were asked, you know, what we think could happen when, you know, all this takes place, and I said, well. We could end up, and I, and I said something along the lines of going back in time, going and restarting, you know, kind of restarting, going back in time and restarting, and that's a possibility, but restarting in a way that should have been from the, in the first place, you know, in other words, you know, restarting in a way that, you know, doesn't have problems, doesn't have threats, doesn't have divorces, doesn't have anything like that, it's just like all kind and sweet, it's all kind and understanding and loving and all that and again I know some people may not like that because they think really I don't really want to have to do that but you know what from a spiritual standpoint religious standpoint that's a possibility we don't know but 2016 like I said in the video was a slap it was basically a big slap it was basically a wake-up call for us and whether you believe spiritually or religiously that's what it was you know I mean, I think 2016 will go on record as having the most celebrity deaths in history in in quite some time. It's one of the most tragic years for for celebrities. You know, as far as you know, as passing into passing on and all that. So it's going to go down as one of those years that you know we don't we want to forget because of things like that. But then you take a look at all the tragedies, you take a look at all the non-celebrities, you take a, whole, take a look at all the other uh, personalities out there, and, you know, it's almost like, in a way, like I said, it's going to go down on record as probably the most, kind of, it's probably going to go down on record as one of the most recorded, as, have, as, as one, it's probably one of the year, most recorded years for people passing on, you know, people dying in passing on, whether it was celebrities, non-celebrities, just ordinary people, you know, through natural causes, you know, 
you know, diseases, cancers, whatever, or tragedies, if you will, like attacks and all that, 2016 is going to go down as probably the worst year for people losing their lives. And a lot of us want to hope that that's not going to happen again. You know, 2016 was not the best year in, in many people's minds. And I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that we should not look at it in, a, in that way because honestly, like I said in the video from a personal standpoint, me and my mom went through some personal changes as well, you know, changes we didn't expect. You know, one week we're going to Santa Cruz to, sell, to have an early celebration for my nephew's ninth birthday and then the next, and, and then when we come back we get a message from our landlord saying he wants to talk to us and what does he wants to tell it? He wants to talk to us because he wants to talk to us he wants us to call us back because he has something important to tell us so he wants to important he has something important to talk to us about and what's he talking and what's he tell us he's selling the house and does he give a reason well according to my mom when she finally met up with him after the move was done he gives a reason of oh well I needed the money because you know you know I needed the money because uh you know, but you know, I need money because my daughter has to go. Has to, I have to help my daughter get through college, or you know, this and that, and you know, blah 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 blah. And it's like, really, really, you know, you put us through all this change. You interrupt our lives. You put us through this unexpected transition, and right after she, we move out of the house, now you tell her the reason. Now you say, oh, these are the reasons why? Because you lost money on one house and oh, you need money to put your daughter through college or help your daughter get through college? You know, you couldn't tell us that in the first place? And you know, that's why me and my family, and I think my mom, it may, and my mom, she may not admit it, but my mom also feels that he's not really telling us the truth. And if he's not telling us the truth, it's going to come back and bite him. And then on top of that, we find out that the house he's, we were living in that he's trying to sell is inhabitable because of some of the things that I mentioned in the first video of this year. Uh, you know, he didn't really work on, were, you know, didn't make it safe to live in. You know, the water main, where it says water outside, that the water main, you know, where you go outside and you look down, and you, you got that big thing that you pick up and it says water on it, on the lid, and you pick it up to see, uh, to, to count the measuring and all that. You know, that was flooded water. Me and my mom had to keep draining it out. Then the sink that they repaired about a year before is starting to leak. And my mom's toilet is starting to leak again. And it's like, seriously. Uh, you know, is this some of the, are these the real reasons why you don't want to come out and repair the stuff? You know, is it because we had our, my sister, my second older sister's friend come out and repair it for a lot lesser and have, and thus you had to deduct it from the rent? Is, is that the reason? You know, is that the reason? Huh? Is that the reason? I, I mean, come on, seriously, is that the reason? Because if that's the reason, if that's the real reason, Reason he should have told us, but because he didn't, and he decides as soon as we're moved out, as soon as everything's done, he decides to tell us the truth. He decides to finally tell us, I guess, why he the truth in his own words. I don't think so. And honestly, I think my mom knows that, but being who she is, she's trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. And you know what? If he is telling the truth, more power to him. But if he's not, it's going to come back to bite him, and he knows it. He knows it's going to come back to bite him. So yeah, personally, it wasn't a good year for us. Personally. And, you know, so I can understand, I can sympathize with a lot of people looking at this year as probably, as this past year, I should say, as the worst year in history. One of the worst years. I can see, but you also got to look at the positives. You know, if you're a Chicago Cubs fan, a Cleveland Cavaliers fan, they finally brought championships back to the cities after so long. I mean, 108 years for the Cubs, 40-something years for the Cavaliers. You know, they finally brought, and for the city of Cleveland, they finally brought a championship home. And if that's not enough, if that's not enough, if you're a fan of comic books, like, say, the Sonic the Hitchcock comic book by Archie, a positive here is 
the near three year, uh, legitimately three year Shadow Worlds arc, the soft retcon reboot arc, is over. It ended, it's done. So, you know, there are some positives. You know, movie wise, it was kind of up and down year for superhero movies, but still, there are some, there were some positives. Sure, there weren't many positives. Sure, the negatives outweighed the positives in 2016. It's like I said in one video, it didn't matter who won the presidential election. Oh, by the way, it was Trump that won. We're screwed anyway. So, you know, what's the point? You know, and people trying to get, you know, trying to, to fight the election, trying to get Clinton in instead of Trump being in. It's like, you know, get over it. You know, it's done. So, 2016 is far... You know, as far as a lot of this goes, you know, it, it just was not not the best. It was basically the negatives outweighed the positives in 2016. And hopefully 2017 doesn't react the same way. But that's another audio or on-screen video for another time. Let me know what you guys think down below. i got to get back to work.